Hello guys, Keep Watch on TV here, back for yet another video. Before we get into today's video, let's see if we can hit 150 likes. And if you haven't already, make sure to drop a sub. What have I just witnessed at St Andrews? It's finished Birmingham City 3, West Brom and Albion 1. It feels like a, a regular occurrence now, isn't, doesn't it? Beating West Brom. That's now four times in a row that we've beaten them in the league. Um, three times, they've lost at St Andrews three times in a row, um, which is really nice to see. Um, we go into fourth place in the championship table now, above West Brom in the league as well. And uh, our last two home games, we've picked up six points and we've won, um, we scored, sorry, seven goals in those two games, which is obviously a big, big boost for the team morale and as well, um, going into the, into the international break, we sit in fourth place. Obviously, that will change with results um, with other teams playing tomorrow. So hopefully, we can you know, hopefully we can um, hold on to a playoff place um, going into going into the uh, into the into the international break. Sorry. So yeah, we went with the same team um, that we started against Huddersfield. So we had Rudy in between the sticks, Longer Sanderson as the two centre backs, Longer as the left back. Um, Dramas right back, Bielik and Ivan Sunjic in the two, as the two um, central midfielders. We had uh, Miyoshi in that number 10 role, Dembele on the left, Bakuna on the right and Stansfield um, up top. So we actually went 1-0 down in this game. In the first five minutes, uh, John Swift was um, completely unmarked. He had a lot of space. We should be doing better there, to be fair. Sanderson should be you know, closing him down, but he gave him too much space. It was a good finish, to be fair. In off the post, I think the goalkeeper should be doing a bit better there, a bit better of a though, uh, to be fair. So 1-0 down, and um, yeah, we responded well. I mean, our heads didn't drop, um, and uh, I mean, we got a penalty. Now, normally, decisions don't go our way, so I know West Brom, West Brom fans obviously are going to feel robbed, but, you know, it goes both ways, isn't it? Now Miyoshi, for, I don't know what, I don't know how that's the penalty. By the way, that must be like the worst penalty decision I've ever seen in my life. Miyoshi literally like slipped over and he gave a, he gave a penalty, but Bakuna stepped up. I thought it was going to be Jay Stansfield on the penalty to be, uh, to be fair, but yeah, um, Bakuna stepped up, sent the goalkeeper the wrong way, and it's one-one. Now Cody Drama, I've been a massive critic of Cody Drama in recent times. What an assist! For Dion Sanderson's goal, the cross, unbelievable technique on that cross, and Dion Sanderson with the with a beautiful header, um, it goes over the goalkeeper. It was like a lobbed header, and it's two one Blues. By the way, Marshy as well. He was getting into some good positions in this game. Dembele didn't have the impact he did against Huddersfield. Um, he was uh, took off. Uh, Luke Zukovic come on for him. Scott Hogan come on in the last. Uh, 10 minutes or so and I think bringing on Jukovic for Dembele was actually like it was the right was it I think I swear it was Jukovic for Dembele I think Jukovic come on and Dembele come off I don't know I don't know I, th I think I'm think I'm right on that but yeah Oliver Burke come on as well now we make it 3-1 Gary Garner Gary Garner of course coming on with 10 minutes to go dead ball situation Gary Gardner hasn't scored a goal for Blues in about 5 years I'm I'm a bit I'm being a bit dramatic on that, to be fair. He's, he scored, I think he last scored for us away at Preston under Karanka. But what a goal! What a goal! I was saying to someone, we should sell him. We're not going to get anything for him in January. We'll get about a tenner. Put another seven, seven zeros on the end of that. Unbelievable strike! Gary Gardner, of all the players to score that, into the top left hand corner, goalkeeper. Absolutely no chance. You could have about four goalkeepers in goal, and there was not getting anywhere near that. By the way, before um, Gary Garner scored that amazing free kick, West Brom had did have a spell in the like the second half, in the, like for like twenty minutes. I don't know how. By the way, a ball was put into the box. No one was marking him at the back stick. I think it was like Furlong, I believe, the right back for West Brom. The number two, but yeah, I don't know how he literally went. Like he literally had like an open goal, and he missed. But yeah, Blues get the job done. I did say we was going to draw this game one one, but we've took all three points. And John Eustace is not going to. I'm not going to say proving me wrong. 
I'm not going to say that, but to an extent, he has done a really, really good job in the last couple of games, getting our season back on track, getting us on, getting us back to winning ways. Dropping Hogan and we win the next. Um, yeah, it's weird. We drop Hogan and then we win the next two games. Weird that. Anyway, let's see if we could one hundred and fifty dollars. Been keeping on TV. Make sure to like, share, and also subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. As always, guys, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Up the blues. Keep right on. Oh, we're not going to have this again, are we? No, we're not going to. No, 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 not this again. Oh, my life. Oh, yeah, I'm ending the video this way.